Hey everybody, this is Ramon El Magnifico and welcome to episode 8 of the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday Show. Woohoo! Uh, so before I let you know who will be celebrating today, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on when I post the next episode. Uh, it's a weekly show so you know it's going to be every Friday. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at DL Magnifico. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with the show. Today we are celebrating Mr. Hollywood Legend. Mr. Gregory Peck, Mr. Hollywood Legend. What was that? Anyways, <laughs> today we're celebrating uh, uh, the birthday uh, of Mr. Gregory Peck. Woo! Hollywood Legend. <laughs> Anyways, Eldred Gregory Peck was born on April 5th, 1916 in La Jolla, California to Bernice Mary Ayers and Gregory Pearl Peck. He had Irish, English, and some German ancestry. His parents divorced when he was five years old. An only child, he was sent to live with his grandmother. He never felt he had a stable childhood. His fondest memories are of his grandmother taking him to the movies every week and of his dog, which followed him everywhere. He studied pre-med at UC Berkeley and while there, got bitten by the acting bug. Those acting bugs, man, they get into everything. <laughs> uh, so uh, he decided to change the focus of his studies. He enrolled in the neighborhood playhouse in New York and debuted on Broadway after graduation. His debut was in Emlyn Williams' play, The Morning Star. That was way back in 1942. By 1943, he was in Hollywood, where he debuted uh, in the RKO film Days of Glory in 1944. Stardom came with his next film, The Keys of the Kingdom, in 1944, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award. Peck's screen, uh, Peck's screen presence displayed the qualities for which he became well known. He was tall, rugged, heroic, with a basic decency that transcended his roles. He appeared in Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound in 1945 as an amnesia victim accused of murder. In 1946, he was again nominated for an Academy Award and won the Golden Globe for The Yearling. He was especially effective in Westerns and appeared in such very uh, fair as David or Selznick's critically, critically acclaimed dual, I'm sorry, not acclaimed, blasted, critically blasted Duel in the Sun in 1946. With a string of hits uh, to his credit, Peck made the decision to only work in films that interested him uh, and he continued to appear as the heroic larger-than-life figures in such films as Capt Captain Horatio Hornblower, R.N., in 1951. And he played Captain Ahab in Moby Dick in 1956. He, star he starred opposite Audrey Hepburn in her debut film, Roman Holiday. That was in 1953. 1953, for which she won an Oscar. Gregory Peck finally won the Oscar after four nominations for his performances as lawyer Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird in 1962. In the early 60s, he appeared in two films darker than what he usually appears in. Um, Cape Fear in 1962, in which he plays a lawyer who is being stalked by a man he once held put in jail. And Captain Newman, M.D., in 1963, which deals with the way people live and co-starred 
Mr. Tony Curtis. He also gave a powerful performance as Captain Keith Mallory in The Guns of Navarone in 1961, one of the biggest box office hits of that year. When his film career stalled in the early 1970s, he produced two films, The Trial of the Cantonsville Nine, uh, so that's The Trial of the Cantonsville Nine, I assume that means there were nine people on trial, <laughs> and that was in 1972, and The Dove in 1974, but he did not appear in either one of them. He made a comeback playing Robert Thorne in the horror film The Omen, which is where I first saw him. After that, he returned to the bigger-than-life roles he was best known for, such as MacArthur in 1977 and the monstrous Nazi Dr. Joseph Man Man Mangeli in the huge hit The Boys from Brazil. In 1978. In the 1980s, he moved into television with the miniseries The Blue and Gray in 1982 and The Scarlet and the Black in 1983. And in 1991, he appeared in the remake of his film, 1960, of his 1962 film, playing a different role this time under the direction of Mr. Martin Scorsese's Cape Fear in 1991. He was also cast as the progressive thinking owner of a wire and cable business in Other People's Money in 1991. Some of his, his accolades in 97, Gregory Peck received the Academy's Jean Hirschhold Humanitarian Award. He, was also, he has also been awarded the U.S. Presidential Medal, Medal of Freedom. Always politically progressive, he was active in such causes as anti-war protests, uh, workers' rights, and civil rights. In 2003, uh, Peck's portrayal of Attic, Atticus Finch was named the greatest film hero of the past 100 years by the America Film Institute. Gregory Peck died at age 87 on June 12, 2003 in Los Angeles, California. My thanks to IMDb for that uh, brief bio. Uh, he, you know, that was, that was just a small portion of, of some of the films that Mr. Peck has made. Uh, go and check out his films. Um, Roman Holiday is uh, was his first comedy, and, and he really wanted to do that one. Um, and he felt that, that Miss Hepburn was going to win the, the award, so she, she wanted her to get that billing on that one. Uh, and he was right, she won the, the Academy Award. Um, so, yeah, that's this week's Famous Pipe Smoker. Uh, so, thank you once again for tuning in and watching this episode of the famous pipe smoker friday show i am ramon el magnifico if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button please subscribe to my channel um if you know um, i've already gotten a few but if you know of any other pipe smokers i have a huge list and believe me i have like two years on instagram that i'm going to be uh coming up here pretty soon um uh, this is a weekly show uh but if you know of any uh, famous pipe smokers that you want me to feature on the show. I've already gotten a few uh, So thank you for those who have submitted those. I still need more famous women. <laughs> I only know of the ones I mentioned in um, uh, The International Women's Day episode uh, So yeah, so leave your comments um, uh, 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 Subscribe to the channel follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the El Magnifico and until next week may God bless you all so long, and thanks for all the fish. Ciao.